The days are getting shorter, the air is getting colder, and all you want to do is sleep. Yes, everybody, we're in the midst of the long haul of autumn. We still have a while before second semester, so I've decided to tell you guys a couple of ways to survive the New England fall. Here's the top five. Number five, care packages. Dear mom and dad, I know you have all the good food from home. Please send some my way. Leftover Halloween candy, Thanksgiving recipe experiments, anything to give me a break from dining hall food. Number four, your winter clothes. Hate to break it to you guys, but it's finally time to put away your flip-flops. Pull out your warm sweaters, coats, and boots, because it's going to get freezing before we know it. This is also a great time to raid the bookstore and get some new merch. My favorite, those scarves that, when I see them, make me think I actually go to Hogwarts instead of BC. Number three, your favorite hot drink. Whether it's black coffee or an extra large pumpkin spice latte with double cream and double sugar, you're going to need something to get you up in the morning and keep you warm. So stash some Swiss Miss packets in your room for those late study nights and try out my personal recommendation, the caramel cappuccinos from The Wrap. Number two, impromptu adventures with your friends. There are a ton of things to do in New England in the fall. Visit historical sites, look at the foliage, check out some fall festivals. Or you can stay close to home and explore the campus. Just a warning, if you lose your ID during a leaf bite, you will not find it in those huge piles. Believe me. And the number one thing you need to survive the fall, some stamina. Maybe you have your second set of midterms, maybe you're low down with research papers, or maybe you just don't have any motivation at all. Whatever it is, just push through it. Do whatever you can to keep up, even if it involves blasting your favorite Christmas music a month early. I'm Sarah Nineson, and this has been Best Of. See you next time.